So yeah, um, I wanted to do, uh, last thing I wanted to do was a guru tag. Um, I never really considered myself a guru. Um, I could consider myself a diva because I, you know, love to put on makeup and stuff and, um, you know, I'm, I'm not shy to be, to speak in front of people or speak into a camera, but, um, I never really considered myself a guru. <laughs> I don't know. I guess in my mind, it's like, you have to be like that fantabulous and have a trillion subscribers. But it's, um, I think it's a 14 question uh, tag. Um, I'm going to try and do that. How many hours a week do you spend filming and editing your videos? <clears throat> 90, probably 95 to 99% of the time. I just do it all on Sundays. Um, homeschooling during the week. Saturday I try to catch up on stuff I couldn't do. And then um, Sunday morning, since I don't go to church anymore, um, I just do my videos, whether it's one or ten, and then I edit it throughout the whole day and make sure it's up. And if I if I didn't have any delays, they should be up by five. Um, but if you know something delayed me, then it, I might be up till like one in the morning, um, making sure that they're edited and up on YouTube. So basically it's just a day. Um, and then so, once in a while during the week, if I get some stuff and, um, and I'm like anxious to really do a review, if it has to do with my nails, I might do a video during the week. Um, usually it's not that long though. So, you know, maybe an hour or two if I do it during the week, but if I just do it on Sunday, all pretty much all day Sunday. Um, <clears throat> are you a spender or a saver? Um, I used to be a saver till I started doing my YouTube videos till I got into makeup. And I've said the story before, um, when I lost my singing voice, I needed something in my life. Um, I felt isolated and alone and I hated North Carolina. I was depressed and, um, then, you know, makeup came into my life. Uh, I was always a makeup user. I used to play with my grandmother's makeup when I was five um, but I was always a saver and then <laughs> boom, I got addicted to bright and crazy and, you know, just, you know, all different things, makeup, all things makeup. So, um, that I, I would have to say I am a spender, but I have cut back drastically. Um, when is it easiest for me to film on um, Sundays? During the week I homeschool, Saturdays I try to catch up or I just try to relax. And then Sunday um, is the best day. Um, when I finish homeschooling, we may look for churches out here again. In which case, I will start doing my videos on Monday. But that's just what, what would be easiest for me because of, you know, homeschooling. What makes talking in front of the camera so comfortable to me? Um, I used to sing publicly. Um, I, I have been in plays since I was, you know, five years old when I went to school, kindergarten, I have been in plays and we used to sing and, you know, that continued on through, um, middle school and even high school. And, um, then when I started going to church, um, I would sing, you know, in front of people. So that's why it's, it's not hard for me to speak into a camera um, because I'm, I'm actually just alone speaking to myself, but in my mind, I see all of you. So, um, you know, because I've d done that for so many years, a, a good seven years at least saying publicly in front of people, it makes it easy for me to speak into a camera. And if you're nervous about it, the truth is you're speaking to yourself. So it shouldn't be that scary. I know everyone's looking at it, but in my mind, when I speak into that camera, I envision all of you out there. What's my worst makeup or hair habit? I don't like to throw things out. I know that Nova Cheap keeps her makeup. She's got a what she calls a vintage vault. Um, so I don't feel so bad <laughs> that I do it. Um, she's, she's less than 10 years younger than me, but she is younger than me. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't like throwing things out. I know I gave away a lot of stuff um, when I started doing Mary Kay and um, when I started doing uh, the YouTube videos, I also gave away stuff to my daughters. 
Um, but I, I don't like to throw things out. So that's probably a bad habit. The next one is uh, one quote that you would uh, you would want to live by. Um, and it's always, you know, like the Bible says, do to others as you would have others do to you. That's a quote that I like to live by. I don't want nobody treating me bad, so I don't treat people bad. You know, it's not hard to, you know, just respect others if that's what you want is respect. So that's it. You do to others what you want others to do to you. And and that's the way I try to live my life. How long do I spend getting ready every day? I, it takes me about an hour to get ready, depending on how much makeup I wear. Um, I, I've done my videos before. I can do my makeup in five minutes if, I, if I'm not feeling well or I just need to run out the door. In which case, it would just be foundation and mascara and a chapstick or a lip gloss. Um, I can do my makeup in half an hour if I have a little bit more time. Um, and in that case, it would just be something simpler. Um, and then, you know, most of the time, though, I like to just go all out and do do fun looks with color. And, um, and then I post it on my Facebook beauty page. It's all Things Makeup is my Facebook beauty page. Um, so that I like to do that. Um, so it, it, when I do that, though, when I go all out and just go bright and bold, it takes me a good hour to get ready. Um, let's see. My favorite video on YouTube. I don't know if I have a favorite, but the first thing that comes to mind is Matt Koval's The Fooplers. I love watching his Fooplers. He doesn't do it anymore because he just, you know, his wife just had a baby this past year. So he's just really hard for him to do it um, because he plays all the characters, the mother, the father, the teenage son, and the little girl. It's just, it's hilarious. Um, so, I mean, I like to watch a lot of people, a lot of things on YouTube. Sometimes I watch music videos, but mostly makeup videos, nail videos, um... Uh, you know, comedy videos, um, crochet videos, but if I had to pick a, a favorite of all of that, it, I guess it would be the Fooplers because it's hilarious. Um, so yeah, I like to watch the Guild too. If you guys are into gaming, um, I like to watch the Guild and follow that, but I don't actually have like a favorite favorite um youtube video um a youtuber that i watch who deserves more views and subscribers than they have i think that a, a lot of the people i watch have over a thousand um there is one girl i was surprised jessica is her name uh, and i'll put her in the down bar i noticed that she only had 700 I, uh, did that sound bad? <laughs> Only 700. That is a lot. But I expected her to have like thousands because she is really, really good. Um, so I noticed that. Um, and I, but I think everyone else I watch has over a thousand. I, um, I'm not always checking that. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But that, that, that did like, wow, she's so good. And she's got less than a thousand. And that kind of surprised me. Um... What am I excited about in the upcoming year? I think this year was the big year for me moving out of North Carolina after uh, whatever it was, 13 years or 15 years away from, from family. To move here to be with my brother and his family was like the big thing to look forward to. Um, next year, you know, I, I would have to say working on my health. Um, you know, um... I don't believe that, you know, I have cancer. I don't believe that, you know, a lot of times it's what you believe that's going to get you, keep you going. And I believe that I can do this, that I can work on my health. And I think that that's what I'll be looking forward to. I'll be finished up with homeschooling and I can start working on me. And, um, and I just want to work on my health to try and get myself um, healthier. So that's what I'm looking forward to in the upcoming year. My most awkward filming moment? I don't know. <laughs> I, 
I just, the only thing that makes me awkward is that because of my allergies, I'm constantly scratching my ear, my hair, my face. And I think those are probably my awkward moments. I try to cut them out, but I don't always get it. So you're going to catch me scratching my ear a lot because of my allergies. Um, and just when I look at some of my old videos, I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, um, let's see. Um, video prepping, I used to like try out different things throughout the week. And since I've moved here, um, like when I say I'm going to do a look, I will work on that look for the whole week till I get something I'm really happy with. Um, since I moved here, that's been a little bit more difficult with, you know, things that have been going on in my life. Um, so I guess, um, at least one day I'll test it out and that takes a couple of minutes. Um, I have ideas in my head. I say, I'll just do add this and that for Sunday. But not too much preparation. I just have to put the board behind me, get the camera hooked up and to the right setting, um, and then just bring my makeup out. So it's, I guess for me, it just doesn't, doesn't seem like that much. Um, I would say less than half an hour, you know, so... Um, so yeah, not long. <laughs> are you wearing your clothes <laughs> or are you wearing pajamas? <laughs> I am 99% of the time wearing my pajamas when I do a video. I'm home. I want to relax. If I'm home, I'm in my pajamas most of the time. Um, so unless I'm going somewhere. I'll be in my pajamas. <laughs> um, what am I most proud of in my life? I think the first thing that would come to mind is the homeschooling. The fact that I'm the one who educated my children. I'm the one who prepared my children for life. Um, because to me, homeschooling is not just about academics, but it's preparation for life. Um, my children learning how to read, that was me. That wasn't anybody else but me. I was I homeschooled them um, when I think he was in kindergarten and and she was in first grade or something. Or he was in preschool and she was in first or second grade. And um, you know they didn't know how to read yet. I mean they knew how to do what we call blends, like sound out letters, knew their ABCs because they did go to school for a couple of years. But I'm the one who taught them how to read. You know, I'm the one who taught them how to count. I'm the one who taught them math and, well, science, that goes over my head, but history and, um, uh, you know, math, you know, and, uh, you know, English. I'm the one who taught them those things. And even Spanish, I, <laughs> I'm learning a lot of Spanish because being from New York City, being first generation born here, um, we, I, you don't get to practice Spanish all that often. So being in New York City, we, we, we speak what you call Spanglish. Um, so I love that I'm learning right along with my kids and I try to teach them Spanish. And even though they don't like the extra work, I feel so, well, so good about myself when me and my son, are, when we're doing Spanish and I said, read this and I tell him to interpret it and he speaks it right. He has the right accent and he knows what he's reading for the most part so that really makes me feel good um so they might not ever use it my my daughter is like eh um but um at least i did that much um so i guess you know that would that would be it i the other thing i'm really proud of but i can't really take all the credit is me and my husband were just talking how we've been married 23 years and I mean we give the glory to God we say it was Jesus who kept us together um, but that really makes me feel good you know that we're a family and that we're together and you know breaking so many cycles of the past uh, you know parents separated and divorced and you know this that, and the other thing it makes me feel good that we kept it together but I, again I don't take the full credit for that I, I believe our faith in God is what keeps us together. So, but it makes me feel good. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, and I will see you next week with 
my first Christmassy look. Um, bye.